Where is the messenger again? Where is this ayah coming from? No human being has ever been there. This is the only time. This is the closest we've ever human humanity has ever been to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next closest thing in the history of humanity was Musa alayhi salam and he didn't get higher than a mountain. He was on top of a mountain and he spoke with Allah. Yeah? But you know when Allah Azza wa Jal says, you know, Jikta ala qadharin ya Musa, you came right on time. Exactly. And Rasul came, he had a much higher appointment. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Now he is up there talking to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says to him, Amana Rasulu Bima Unzila ilayhim Rabbihi wal mu'minun. My goodness. And the believers did it too. He mentioned us there. I understand the Rasul is mentioned, alayhi salatu wasalam. But anybody who believes in that messenger and firms their iman in the messenger has also been mentioned in the company of Allah, in the highest of all revelation in the Quran. This belief, you and I, our iman, there is nothing more noble. You will not find dignity and respect anywhere, anywhere higher. You know, you feel special if the, the principal of the school calls your name. Yeah? You feel special at the award ceremony when they invite the Ra'is. Right? And he gives you an award, he calls your name and he gives you an award. You feel special if the president of a country, the king of a country, they call you and they have a personal meeting and they mention you. Hey, he talked about me? Hey, he mentioned my name? The Messenger والسلام, is in the greatest throne there ever was. And you are being talked about. These ayat are special. These ayat have elevated the believer like no other ayat. We are being mentioned in, the, in that company, subhanAllah. Every time you recite these ayat, you and I should remember the station that Allah has given us. No Muslim is insignificant to Allah. No Muslim is insignificant. I don't know your names. I don't, I don't know. Allah knows every one of your names. And every one of you that has real iman in their heart has been mentioned in the heart. Every one of you. In that one word, wal mu'minun. Beginning with the Sahaba and until now. And then, so that's the, the first honor, right? But the second honor, the second honor that I wanted to highlight is that Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran describes the greatness of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we know we will never be close to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi He's always going to be here, we're always going to be down here. No matter if we were the best we could ever be, we could not come close to the dust on his feet. It's never going to happen. وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ There's some the higher status. But in this one ayah, he didn't just bring himself, he didn't just bring you close to Allah, he brought you close to Rasulullah too, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. كَيْفْ كُلٌّ آمَنَا What does the word kull include? It includes the, the messenger and it includes you. In the previous ayah, it was the Rasul believed and the believers believed. There were two words. There were two words. Now in the next statement, Kullun combines both of us together. Now we are inseparable. Kullun amana billahi. Every one of them, everyone, every single one believed. Now Allah put me and Rasulullah in the same word. He put us in the same word. SubhanAllah, the closeness that Allah wants us to have to Rasulullah sallallahu is inside this one word, kullun. Amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi. Every one of them believed in Allah and His angels and His books and His messengers. Now why mention all of this? The Muslims are the last ummah that will walk this earth. They are the last ummah. All the books before us, the best of them, has been recorded in the Qur'an. Are there things in the Qur'an that were from the, the wahi given to Dawood alayhi salam? Yeah? Are there things in the Qur'an from what was given to Ibrahim alayhi salam? Yeah? Are there things in the Qur'an from what was given to Musa alayhi salam? Yeah? Does the Torah have 
what the Quran has? No, only a little bit. Does the Injil have what the Quran has? No, only a little bit. We have the best of every one of the previous revelations. Actually believing in this one book is truly the definition of believing in all the previous books. And this is so important to understand. You know, we think that the Christians and the Jews, they also believe in the Prophets. They also have Abraham, they also have Noah, they also have Moses, yes? Let me tell you, they do believe in those Prophets, but they don't believe in those Prophets. 